In an earlier video, we discovered this very well-known formula for the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. In this video, we'll practice applying this formula to four different matrices. And the first two examples will be very much routine, but the other two examples will be quite interesting. And of course, there is nothing simpler than calculating determinants for 2 by 2 matrices. All you have to remember is this crisscrossing pattern, AD minus BC. And so, applying this formula to this matrix right here, we find that its determinant equals 4 minus 6, 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. And of course, because negative 2 is not 0, the determinant tells us that the columns of this matrix are linearly independent. Of course, that's something that we knew to begin with, but the determinant helped us confirm it. And we're done with the first example. Now, moving on to the second example, we find that the determinant of this matrix equals 5 times 12, 60, minus the product of these two entries. The two minuses cancel, and we have 60 minus 60, and that is 0. And in this case, the determinant tells us that the columns of this matrix are linearly dependent. And even if we didn't see that to begin with, now that we know that the determinant is 0, we should take a second look at this matrix and figure out what the relationship is. And of course, upon the second look, we notice that these columns are in proportion 5 to negative 3. It works in both rows. So the second column is negative 3 fifth of the first column. And perhaps it was the determinant that helped us see that there is a relationship there. So this concludes the first two very much routine examples. Now let's move on to the interesting examples. Let's start with this matrix. If you looked at this matrix and I asked you for your first instinct, are the columns of, these, of this matrix linearly dependent? What would you say? My first instinct would be that the columns of this matrix are not linearly dependent because I cannot easily see the proportionality between the columns. Well, let's see what the determinant tells us. The determinant of this matrix is this entry times this entry. And of course, by the very well-known formula from algebra, the product of these two entries is square root of 3 squared minus 1 squared, which of course is 2. So this times this is 2 minus the product of these entries, minus 2. So it's 2 minus 2. It is 0. So the determinant tells us that the columns of this matrix are linearly dependent, something that we would not have guessed in the beginning. And so now that we know that they're linearly dependent, it, we really have to identify the relationship between these columns. And by looking at the second row, of course, the only thing that that relationship can be is that the second column is square root of 3 plus 1 of the first column, because that's the relationship right here. So it must also hold in the first row. Let's make sure that it does. Multiplying this entry by square root of 3 plus 1, as we already did before, equals 2. So we do indeed get this entry. So in this case, the determinant helped us identify the fact that the columns are linearly dependent for a matrix where our original guess, guess would have been the opposite. So the determinant is very useful. So that's that for this matrix. Now let's move on to this last matrix, which is very important. It comes up in all sorts of applications. And let me ask you the following question with regard to this matrix. Can you think of a value for the angle alpha, let's call it an angle, that would make the columns of this matrix linearly dependent? Can you think of an alpha that would make these columns linearly dependent. Now that's not a question that's easy to answer on an intuitive basis because there's trig functions involved and things get a little bit complicated. Let's see what the determinant tells us. Well, the determinant of this matrix for a general value of alpha is this times this, which is cosine squared alpha, minus this times this, which is minus 
sine squared alpha. So the determinant is cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Cosine squared plus sine squared. According to the fundamental identity of trigonometry, that expression equals 1 for all values of alpha. And so in this case, the determinant tells us that for any value of alpha, these columns are linearly independent. Linearly independent no matter what the value of alpha is. Very interesting. It's a question that would not have been easy to answer without using determinants. So what we see from these examples is that determinants, even for 2 by 2 matrices, are quite useful. But they also show that calculating determinants for 2 by 2 matrices is very simple.